What are the trends of tourism in India post the mega vaccination drive? India Today answers, where can you travel this holiday season? Chaiti Narula with this report. Tourism in India is limping back to normalcy. However, post the COVID era, the hospitality and tourism sector is still struggling to break even. We took a tour around Ranthambore National Park to spot some local tourism trends. It is still limping back to normal. Uh, there are still uh, concerns uh, people have about traveling uh, in public transport. So it, it is going to take time. On this trip, on his special jeep, specially designed for the specially abled, Balendu Singh explains several impediments faced by the likes of him with clearances long pending. First time it has been mandated in Rajasthan for the wildlife safari. But isn't the implementation of that law far cry right now? Very far. We took a trip around the Ranthambore National Park to find out how the safari is now increasingly becoming a preferred tourist destination in the wake of international travel flip-flops. You can see a lot of peacocks, the rufous tree pie, the jungle babblers. There are many such uh, little temples and monuments. Yeah. And people give offerings of grain, etc. So the birds feed off them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they migrate here only for the winter, right? Only for the winter. Where do they go after? Summer they'll fly back to the Tibetan plateau. Okay. So either Ladakh or Tibet. And they must be flying back in their flocks together, right? Yes. But they usually stay in pairs. A mix of culture, heritage and nature. This is a destination that was even picked by the celebrity couple Vicky and Katrina to take their guests for a safari while at Ranthambore. And the common consensus is that celebrity weddings like these have given the much needed push to tourism in Ranthambore that struggled during the COVID times. There is an increase in uh, interest in people coming to nature reserves. Mm -hmm. There is also a increase in the interest of people who find that uh, places like Ranthamur, which are far away from the madding crowd, so to speak, the cities, mm. have become uh, destinations where people can have weddings or great parties and things like that. Recently, you know, there was a wedding close to Ranthamur, about 40 kilometers from here, in a place called Barwada, which is an old fort. Yeah. And uh, it actually does attract a lot more interest to our nature reserve and we hope to benefit from that. As a wildlife enthusiast, Singh gave us an insight into wildlife preservation, the constant efforts being put in by the likes of him to promote and preserve the forest area with the local bodies. 70% of India's landmass was forested. Yeah. Today, it is under 20%. Yeah. And of this 20%, about 5% is protected areas. That's all. That's all. And we cannot afford to lose any more of our forests. All over the world, you see, whether it is in Africa, you've got these safaris as well. And the Europeans and the Americans who have the money to spend, they are going there. And why should they come to India? In India, we are blessed. In the sense that uh, you cannot take away culture from anywhere in our life, be sure. it wildlife, be it cities, be yes. it high mountains, be it beach resorts, you have culture deeply rooted. So Ranthambore is one park where there's a very delicious mix of culture and nature. While the international flights remain suspended, discovering India can sure be on your agenda. From migratory bird spotting to crocodiles and deers, antelopes, 
to woodpeckers, monkeys and of course tigers, Ranthambore is quite the family destination for you this winter. First we've got a herd of eel guy, it's an antelope. Lovely. It's the largest antelope of the Indian subcontinent. Beautiful. This is outside the reserve forest. These are females with young ones. Right. The male is following them. It's a very large, dark colored antelope. Balindu Singh, of course, thank you so much for joining us and giving us all that information. Thanks. He has guided us on everything to do with culture, with trends, with business post-COVID, tourism, wildlife conservation. I hope the show is informative for you. For now, this is Chaiti Narula signing off.